If you guys are trying to take your training to the next level and you wanna increase your speed, your power, your conditioning, then you gotta check out Phil Daru's eight week heavy hitter boxing program. I'm telling you guys right now, there's no Man, joke. shout out to Dante's oh, Boxing Nation. DBN Nation, uh, of course. Support DBN Nation. You hear it from Floyd Money Mayweather. It's Terrence Crawford, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. This is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Hi, you're, you're watching, watching Dante's Boxing, Boxing Nation. Nation. Woo! <laughs> hey. <Yeah. laughs> if you know, you know. Now we all know Heard was set to fight J Rock William for his rematch. However, he done pulled out of the fight. You know, I don't know if it's due to an injury or whatever. Now, I heard claims is because he wanted to move up in a division. Maybe he can't make the weight anymore. But regardless, it's not a good look because you're moving up while you're taking a loss. You know, at least try to avenge the J. Rock William loss. Now, because it was a, a good fight, one of the best fights of the year. However, at the end of the day, uh, J. Rock ended up schooling her, you know, exposing her in a way because... Heard always relied on his chin and his size at 154 where he's able to take and absorbs a lot of punishment, then give it. And the fact that he's a, a volume puncher and he used for the 154 pound division, he was like a margarito at that division. But J-Rock William exposed that and showed that with good defense and good inside fighting, and a fighter that could do it all with veteran tricks, you know, you could beat a hurt. So unlike most fighters that don't get a chance to avenge their rematch, like Lurl, for example, when he lost to Hurt, you know, Hurt was actually given a chance by J. Rock Williams. J. Rock Williams wanted to run it back, but Hurt wanted to move up a division. And I don't see how this gonna benefit Hurt because at the 160 pound division, you can't use your size like you did previously at the 154 pound of division. You know, you actually have to rely more on your skills because you find guys your size. And on top of all that, they hit harder. And we know 160 is packed with talent from Charlo to Andre to Canelo Alvarez to Gennady Golovkin. All these fighters are good fighters. And I see Hurd actually having a hard time at 160. He has a better chance at 154 where he could use his size on most fighters. You know, he beat a, a fighter with better talent and better skills like Lara, for example, just because of his size. So if you go to the 160 pound division, your main advantage is going to go away. Now you got to rely on your skill and your defense, which his dad claims he does have defense however we just not seeing that you know i don't know if he's just been relying on using his size too much or whatever the case might be but you know you got to show me that for me to believe that but actually when i first watched her i thought he had better defense than what he had been showing lately so we'll see maybe it's an injury but whatever the case might be it was a big card they were actually having a rivalry with espn uh, ESPN had a stat card from Crawford versus his mandatory to Lopez versus Corolla. And then the list goes on and on. And then we, obviously the PBC had this fight as the main event. And then Harrison versus Charlo as the undercard. So it was a stat card to compete with the ESPN card. But since the main event is out the way, now I believe J-Rock William will fight on the co-main event and then Tony versus Charlo will get elevated to the main event. Or that's what I believe. So we'll see if that's true or not. Now, two fighters I will actually love to see replace a herd is a Lubin fight against J-Rock William or Lara. Now, Lara just won a belt. If Lara belt is actually one of J-Rock William belts that he had to vacate in order to fight herds for a rematch, then J-Rock Williams should go after Lara. I don't care if Lara just had a fight or not. If not, then I would prefer a Lubin fight just to see where Lubin is at. Um, either one of them fights would be great to replace a herd. That way he could stay as the main event if he was actually the main event, according to Champ Side. So uh, 
Like I always say, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these casual fans. Follow Lion Tune Boxing on Instagram. Follow Aki TV on Instagram and YouTube and click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live. All the links will be in the description box below and to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace and we out of here.